change, change what I do. A brand new attitude. It's time to fight. I won't be fooled here in my life. It's all for you. A brand new attitude. Not giving up, not going down. I'm gonna. Hiya, where we've been learning to take off the bad habits and put on the good new ones, like a good ninja of God. Now here's an idea. What if someone gave you $20 to spend? Or you had to work really hard and you earned $20. Then it'd be really fun to spend that money on something you really wanted. But what if you stole that money, or if someone stole that $20 from you to get something they really wanted, well, that just wouldn't be right. So that's what we're here to learn today. Let's say this together, where we take off stealing and we put on hard work. Perfect. Oh, and have you heard this one before? How do you tell a Lego ninja to leave? No? Ninjago. Konnichiwa. I hope you're ready for the next lesson in your ninja training. A true ninja warrior must develop the habit of working hard. There are times when stealing may seem easy, or like the fastest method to get what you want. But there is a better way. In the book of Luke, we learn that we should put off stealing and put on working hard. There was a man named Zacchaeus who lived in Jericho. Zacchaeus was a tax collector, and that made him a very rich man. While he would collect taxes from people, he would also steal some of the money to keep for himself. The people realized what he was up to, and because he was a thief, the people did not like him. One day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but there was just one problem. He was very short, and the crowd made it hard for him to see anything. He saw a sycamore tree and got the great idea to climb it to get a better look. Zacchaeus got up the tree and noticed Jesus was walking right towards him. When Jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, he looked up and saw him. Jesus told Zacchaeus to come down out of the tree because he wanted to stay at his house. When the other people saw Jesus with Zacchaeus, they couldn't believe it. Why would Jesus want to hang out with him? He was a thief. After spending time with Jesus, Zacchaeus decided to change and no longer steal money from others. He made the decision to work hard and repay the people four times the amount he had taken. Zacchaeus may not have been a ninja warrior, but meeting Jesus helped him understand the importance of working hard. Remember this as you go throughout your day. You may be tempted to steal something that you really want, but you must not. To become a ninja warrior, you must learn to take off stealing and put on hard work. Okay, 
paper towels, check. Juice boxes, check. Hey, check. Um, I mean, check. So listen, did you do your chores and go to Ninja Mart to stock up on TP? <laughs> you betcha. It's all right there. Well, that's weird. I'm going through all these receipts and I don't see one for Ninja Mart. Oh yeah, that's because I didn't get it from there. I took it all straight from the teriyaki headquarters. You, you did what? Oh, my sweet innocent nun. <laughs> Don't you see, this is the best case scenario. We needed TP. Right, so? So, I used this ninja noggin of mine and came up with the best plan ever. <laughs> I snuck into the supply room and grabbed all the toilet paper our ninja butts could ever need. Done and done. Chuck, that's called stealing. Why couldn't you have just gone to the store and gotten the toilet paper like I asked? Oh, go all the way to the store? Why go through all that work? Do you even know how long those self-checkout lines are? Plus, this is way easier, and they get the good stuff. Soft as a baby chick. Chuck, stealing mm. does not mean you don't have to work hard. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it does. Plus, I'm not stealing really, I'm just borrowing, long term. So you're telling me you plan to give all of this toilet paper back when you're done? Ugh, no, that's gross. Okay then, if you're keeping all of that, then it's stealing and that's really wrong. Huh, I guess I didn't look at it that way. I better get this back to the rightful owners. It's so very soft. Listen Chuck, we'll take this back and then we can go to the store and buy the exact same brand. Deal? Deal. Just feel the softness. Konnichiwa, or hello. Before we begin our training, you need to know the two rules of being a ninja. Let me see all of you hold up one finger. The number one rule of being a ninja is to be kind. We can be kind by listening. If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears like this. Click, click. Ninjas also show kindness by staying very quiet. Now for rule number two. Let me see everyone hold up two fingers. Rule number two is to be safe. Ninjas can be safe by not trying any ninja moves on their friends. We can remember this by saying this, block and chop and now we stop. I wanna see all of you do that after me. Block and chop and now we stop. You look ready now. The key to becoming an excellent ninja is learning how to stop doing wrong things and start doing what God says is right. We do that by looking in God's book, the Bible. 
My smart sidekick, Tiny Tiger, wants to share some wise words from the Bible that will help you in your training. Konnichiwa! I have a tigerific story to tell you that's sure to make you roar. One day, while Jesus was teaching, a rich young man asked him a question. He asked, what good things must I do to live forever? Jesus told the rich man to obey everything God says to do in his word. But the man said, I have obeyed God all of my life. What else do I need to do? Jesus told him that he needed to go and sell everything he had. Then he should share his money with the people who didn't have any. But when the rich young man heard this, it made him very sad, and he walked away from Jesus. You see, the man had a lot of money, and he loved his money more than he loved God. He did not want to share with others. Jesus told the people that it is hard to love God when we do not share with others. Sometimes it's not easy to share what we have, but God will help us. Nothing is too hard for him. Sensei Sam and I know that this story will help you in your training. Keep up the good work. Sayonara. Jesus, you